Peffin. Hi, it's Will and Norm from Tested here. We, Norm. Hello. Uh, today, we're going to put together the Cupcake CNC MakerBot home rapid prototyper thing. There, it's incredibly complex looking. We have the instructions here on the trusty iPad, which seems a little evil to use something so closed and, and you know proprietary to you know make something that's open source and awesome. So before we can make things, we need to make the thing that can make things. Yes, yeah, so and we're building the because the machine doesn't build itself. It turns out. Damn it. It's a little bit of a disappointment. So um, we're going to get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put together the build platform and the Y stage assembly. I don't know exactly what that is yet, but we'll figure out as we go. The instructions look incredibly, incredibly um, complex. You know, complex, but it's very well documented. Magnets. So we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. Watch us assemble. Not enough burrito at lunch? No. This is pretty exciting stuff. Okay, so we're about halfway through the first step now. How do you feel, Norm? Lightheaded? Oh, I'm getting lightheaded. Yeah, you know, you're hamming it up. You don't feel that lightheaded. More magnets. Let's go. Okay. Okay. How you feeling, Norm? Tired. Checking in. Okay, so what we've done is now we've built what's essentially the print head, the thing that carries the print head. So this is going to go on a couple of rods, and this belt is going to pull it back and forth as it spits the plastic out onto whatever we're building, and then something else is going to lift that whole thing up and down to make it 3D. Uh, so it's all made out of wood and bolts and uh, nut slots and all sorts of other crazy stuff. I'm tightening it down, and then we're on to the next step. It looks like we got the wrong piece cut out of the wood, so rather than write them and wait for them to send another piece from Brooklyn, we're just going to fix it with a drill. I'm feeling good about this. Okay, so we built the X and Y stage assembly. However, as the instructions told us there was probably going to be a problem, there is. I don't, don't think you can see it through the hole, but the bolt that holds the pulley on the front end, I guess, back end, well, no, front end, front end of the device blocks the X sh shaft that this guy rides on. So as you can see, you put it in the hole and clink, 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 there's a, something hitting. So we're going to go get a Dremel, cut the bottom of this bolt off, and we'll be back in a little bit. Did, couldn't find a Dremel. The hardware store closed like two seconds before we got there. So I'll bring mine from home tomorrow and we'll cut that off in the morning. In the meantime, we're, we're going to put together the whole frame. The cabinet. Norman Chan. Will Smith. We're at the end of day one of our maker bot assembly process. My hands are black. My hands are filthy. I don't know if you can see that, but they are really, really gross. My face is red and my heart is worn out. How are you feeling? Tired. You feeling good about it though? I mean, we got a nice sturdy box for it. We got some electronics yes. on the side. We've built most of the X and Y stage. We're gonna have to do a little doctoring tomorrow when I bring the Dremel in. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'll All be right. honest. Okay. I'm optimistic. So um, at the end of day one, we're what, like halfway done now? A little more than halfway done. A little more than halfway. 60% done. It seems like a lot of the, the hard stuff that's coming, we actually paid the extra money and had them do all the bad soldering for us. So that's cool. Uh, so we will be back tomorrow with more Making the maker bot. Yes. Okay, we are back. It is day number two. Um, we oh, built the frame. Right. What else have we done? Changed clothes. I yes. took a shower this morning. Did you take a shower? Yes. That's good. It's very cleanly. Um, so the next step is to build, assemble the Z stage. I actually went and got a new Dremel tool because our old one uh, didn't work anymore. Uh, so we'll fix the, the y, X, Y stage in a minute. I'll do that. And then uh, while I'm doing that, and the Norm's going to go ahead and keep working on the Z stage. I guess we can put this guy down for the time being, right? Uh, so let's, uh, let's get back to it. And we'll we should be done in two hours. Norman, tell him what you've done. We've um, assembled the motor, put the motor and the belt for, for the, Z the Z stage, Z stage, and the rods for the Z stage. So what's going to happen is the Z platform that we've put here will eventually um, go inside, and these bolts or these nuts will ride. Um, It'll go make them go up and down, up and yeah. down, um, and this motor will make that happen. So there's some magic. 
Now basically. we're gonna move on to uh, putting we're gonna the put this bad boy into the Z stage. Into the whole case. Yes. And then once we have that done and we put the Z stage in, which should be really quick after the XY stage is in, we are mechanically complete. Now we have a mechanically complete cupcake. How do you feel, Norm? Very Pump good. stretch? Feeling like we're almost oh, done? Yeah. Okay, so now all we have to do is hook up the electronics, hook up the plastruder, which is the actual little thing that spits out the little bits of plastic, and we'll be uh, good to go. The cupcake is done. You can see. Hold on, let me get the front. The stages are all in, it goes up and down, it's mechanically complete, it's electrically complete. Now, all that's left is to build the little guy that actually spits the plastic out, the Plastruder MK4. So we have all the parts for that laid out here. There's a motor, a whole bunch of plastic shelf pieces and all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, we're gonna do that, it's supposed to take about an hour, hour and a half, so you know, we'll get ready to start moving incredibly fast now and you'll see how it goes. Accelerate time. Okay, I think that's just strap. Let's try pushing it down. Yes. Let's try pushing it down. Then some crazy shit is going to happen. I broke something. Okay, we're back. For you, it's been seconds. For us, it's been like 48 hours. Uh, we're here to do the triumphant conclusion of the MakerBot assembly. We're building the plastrator now. We got pieces to replace the pieces that I broke. Two days ago. Um, are you confident, Norm? Yes. Feel like we're going to bring this home on Friday afternoon. All right. Let's do it. Okay. It's go time. This is a Plastruder MK4. Fully assembled. I think it probably took us, what, like three or four hours to put together? This took probably? us two days to build. There are two... Uh, this this is called the big dinosaur, it's the weird dinosaur. Yes. They hold together a motor, and the, the plastic will go down here, and the motor will spin. There's this a pulley in there. The wheel will rotate. It pushes, it pushes, it pushes against the, the pulley. pushes the plastic down here, and then through the white barrier. The this white is a thermal barrier. Thermal barrier. And everything wrapped in here is the heater. The plastic will melt, come through the nozzle, and, get and build things. Plopped out in just little tiny bursts. And this will go in our. On the uh, cupcake. The cupcake. Over there. All right. So okay, so let's so, continue. Yeah, we're, we're, we're on the, I'm okay. feeling like we're on the home stretch now. We just got to figure out software and how to mount this bad boy in the cupcake. And then we're don't good to go. It. God, don't drop it. Don't so here's what we're doing. We're updating firmwares on the boards. Norm is going to press reset, I'm going to press upload here, and some magic is going to happen. The Plastruder Mark IV, the Cupcake CNC, My Mac, things wired. a whole shitload of plastic. I'm going to press okay. it. Hold on, wait, wait. Press the reset button on the target board, and then click the upload button. Okay. okay. You go three, I, I'm going to go three, two, one, you do on one. Three, two, one. It's now it's red blinking. Oh my god. It's blinking red. I don't know what happened. This little thing right here is the temperature. That's the motor speed. That's the selected temperature. When it gets to that temperature, it's going to stop getting hotter. Dude, this is the nerdiest thing we've ever done by a huge, oh, I huge see smoke. margin. I see smoke. <laughs> Guys, I see smoke. <laughs> I think smoke's a good thing. Okay, we're at 210 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the motor. Is shit going into it? It's kind of stuck. I'm going to mark the... The, the idler wheel is not spinning. It shouldn't be spinning. It's going in. It's going in right there. It's going in ever so slowly. I think this isn't going to be quite as speedy a process as we thought it might be. I was expecting like a So we're waiting for plastic to come out the bottom? Yes, you probably want to keep it pretty level. I'm trying to Don't move your arms. For God's sake, man. Turn on. Bam. Here it goes. We are there oozing goes. plastic. Spaghetti. This was worth three weeks, three days, however the hell long it took. Look at that. People, this is the future. I'm making stuff. Okay. I am Cyborg Baker Bot. <laughs> that was, well done, Norm. 
making things. Okay, so I it looks like the temperature should read around 230, 235, somewhere in there, not the 220 that they recommended, but it could just be because we placed the thermistor a little bit high. So I guess the next step is let's run all this out. Yep, let it cool down, and then we'll put this then we'll put it in into the, the cupcake. cupcake and start printing some stuff. This is the third or fourth try. We've adjusted the height again. The documentation's a little thin on this part, it turns out. I'm pressing the build button. Let's see what happens. It's hitting. Let's do another extra. I wonder if that sliding is bad. Which one is squeaking? Can you tell? Oh. Oh. Is it slipping? No, it's this one. It's this one. This one's going up and down. See? No, that's not it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Please no, no. I can, tell, I can tell which one it is. It's this one. It's going against the platform. It's going into the wood. The nut is going into the wood. Oh, it's going. Will, you need to unplug that. So, as you can see, the MakerBot, finally, after, what, four days, a couple of raw thumbs, countless hours, poor Joey behind the camera for more than we really care to think about. It's done. It's working. It's printing. We definitely need to fine-tune temperature and, and movement and movement speed and that kind of stuff. But it's working. It's printing stuff. It's printing platforms. Right, so this is the base for the first model. Uh, we'll let this go for a while and, and see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, Cupcake's built. Uh, we're getting ready to do the first kind of test calibration print. And uh, this is the fourth or fifth day we've been working on this now. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the test print and then we'll come back and we'll show you more uh, later this week. I like how it actually works when we have all the kinks worked out. For Tested, I'm Will Smith. And I'm Norm. Thanks.